Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched MLP FIM, and the episode was called Main Attraction. And honestly, I think that this particular episode was the best of the season. And the reason I say that is because the music was phenomenal, for one thing. And I just absolutely adored Color Tura's voice. And if you know anything about a true coloratura, that is a soprano voice that sings extremely high notes. And coloratura actually didn't really sing really, really high notes, <laughs> which I thought was interesting, but um, quibble. I know, it's just silly for me to, to be contested about that, but she became instantly one of my favorite characters. Just. I have grew to really love her, and the episode itself was um, kind of off the track of the cutie map and all that, but I liked the little diversion. It was actually a very excellently written episode. It wasn't filler or fluff or anything like that. It was actual character development, and um, <clears throat> in this episode, Pinkie Pie <laughs> jumps through a lot of ho hoops just to make it possible for Countess Coloratura to come to Ponyville. And Coloratura's manager, he <laughs> doesn't want her to ruin her image and her superstar status, and it's really just a tremendous episode. It is just outstanding. I, this episode was probably my favorite. And uh, we learn a lot about Applejack's past and Coloratura's past. And I love the fact that when she's true to herself, her cutie mark actually glows and shimmers. And I love her cutie mark. Her cutie mark is really awesome. I want that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> it would be perfect for me. Um, I don't know what else to say about this episode in and of itself other than, like I said, the music it was just absolutely sensational. And um, when she sings that song at the end, uh, accompanying herself on the piano, I wanted to weep. I literally wanted to weep. It was so beautiful. Um, I don't know what else to say about this episode, but uh, a lot of people realized what was truly important I thought in in this particular plot development, and it was just so spectacularly done. And I just give the creators of MLP kudos <laughs> to the utmost. And that's basically all I have to say about MLP if I am this time. And I'm not really sure where it's going going to go, honestly. But um, I'm hoping I can see. The Crusaders of the Lost Mark, because that was the one episode I missed. That was because, like I said before, <laughs> when I was watching in the past, I thought, uh, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, and Apple Bloom have their cutie marks, but how? <laughs> and I thought, ah, I missed a very vital episode. Urgh, how could I do that? But I was just, I was so busy, and I never had time to actually view it, and I feel bad, but. Uh, hopefully I can in the near future. They'll probably re-air it sometime. They've, they've been re-airing episodes that have already been aired, uh, <coughs> which I don't mind because every so often they <laughs> will re-air my absolute favorite, which is Pinky Pride. Um, but uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to review that one as well. But. For the for the time being, I'm really savoring the episodes that have come. But that this uh, this episode definitely it's going to be the topper and my favorite MLP episodes thus far because it just really I thought it raised the bar and Coloratura was a very interesting character and I just I instantly fell in love with her just because you know she didn't really, it wasn't she that was the demanding one, it was her manager, and of course Pinky didn't really, I think Pinky understood that later on when she was dealing with um, 
Rob Rob's manager, and there's a reason why she's called Rob Rob. I'm not going to go into that, but um, anyway, <laughs> that's about all I have to say about MLP today. So next time I see you, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, everybody, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Live long, prosper. Ciao, Susie. <laughs>